So I'm sorry that this vlog was literally all over the place this weekend. Yeah, you got a little bit of eczema, huh, Mina? Earlier today, we confirmed our Maui trip for September. St. Patrick's Day outfit. So you just would not eat from me. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. We fumbled the bag again. I need to get my weight back up. What is going on guys? It is, we had Mexican last night. No, but it's like, all we can really have is Mexican if we don't have chicken. All we can have is Mexican if we don't have chicken. That is a good way to look at life. We, we don't have cheese. We need to get fried cheese and I'm not having tacos. So we plan our shopping around different stores, right? So we go to, like four we go to a bunch of different stores. We go to Yolks, we go to Trader Joe's, and we go to Costco. We're all so things. Yolks is like our general purpose cereal, coffee, Eggs. olives, you know? Trader Joe's is vegetables and frozen meals because they have organic, healthy frozen meals that are like stupidly cheap and then we gotta go to Costco because you know Costco's got 25 pound bag of anything you want really I mean <laughs> or you can go buy 47 and a half water bottles for two dollars um but we get like our shredded cheese we get our chicken and just like our bulk stuff that we can buy it frozen in bulk um that lasts so we we're thinking, oh, chicken pasta salad tonight. We are out of one chicken. We got home and we were like, oh, we can't do chicken pasta salad now. And now friends like, oh, well, we bought stuff for street tacos, but we don't have any shredded cheese. So that means we can't do tacos because if you have tacos without cheese yeah, in but Aiden's world. We have them from like the actual taco truck. We don't have cheese on them. Ours aren't as delicious as the ones from taco trucks. Ours need cheese for flavor. I'm actually really tempted to go back and get a chicken breast. So, I'm around the store. I'm gonna get literally one singular chicken breast probably for dinner tonight, and then I'll be back. It is tax day for us, whoop whoop. So we are off to do our taxes. Earlier today, we confirmed our Maui trip for September. If you guys haven't watched us or if you're new to our channel, Maui is our absolute favorite place on this earth and so we are so excited to take israel there and show him our favorite spot because we went there on our honeymoon and then also for our baby moon and then we'll be taking israel when he's one so we figured out our dates and all of that and like our car rental because we're going to be there for aiden's 25th birthday which will be really exciting so right now the tickets are watch out for that guy babe mm -hmm. right now the tickets are on a really 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 good deal so we'll be able to go to maui for a decent price this year so super we are super excited we may or may not go to costco today i don't know we'll see we had not gone grocery shopping in like i feel like it was a month to be honest that we didn't yeah, go we hadn't gone in a while well it was like two and a half weeks but i honestly kind of liked it because then we had to like be creative with our dinners and like use up like our frozen stuff and literally we were out of everything like chicken ground beef everything out of it so we went yesterday just to get the basics from yolks and then hopefully we'll go to target to, or not target costco today but we will see well guys we fumbled the bag <laughs> we didn't even think that or didn't even realize the thought didn't even cross either of our minds that we needed to bring Israel's social with us and of course I have not memorized it I honestly don't even know where it is in the house so we made an appointment for five now so we'll go back in a few hours and get it all figured out and ready to go we fumbled the bag again because we were gonna go to Costco earlier in the day and then we're like no let's just go after we actually get our taxes done well something inside of me decided to check because right now is 550 
just to see what time Costco closes. Closes at six. I thought they closed at eight on Saturdays, but apparently I'm wrong. Well, I'm just really glad that I checked. Cause it's 30 minutes away from our house. We were like on the highway. And I was really looking forward to having some dinner at Costco, but now we gotta figure out what to make. No chicken bakes and hot dogs. I'm starving. I need to update you guys on my breastfeeding journey soon. Well, in this video because I've been starving lately because of it. All right, so we figured out that we figured out what we're gonna have. Oh my gosh, why did I do that? <laughs> we figured out what we're gonna have for dinner. And we're gonna do steak and fries. Probably just steak and fries. But I wanted to show you guys something really funny because Boog is a, um, what is he? He's an Australian shepherd mix. And he hates anything that is not walking. <laughs> no, he hates anything that's out of the ordinary. So if you do something really weird, he does not like it. Like, for instance, when I was pregnant, I was doing like squats and stuff to try and like prepare myself for labor and he did not like it. It's just part of his breed because he's a herder. <laughs> and so we made up this song because we call him Bun Buns. It's basically, we say his name a million times to the same tune as Jingle Bells, right? Jingle Bells, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. And it's just so funny, so hold on. Let's make sure that this is correctly, um... He knows what's happening here. Okay, ready? Do it. <laughs> oh my god, Pastel! Pastel just wants to get in on it too because she's like jealous. But seriously, here, I'm gonna put the camera right here. Hold on, let me just do some squats. Boop. No, pastel, not right now. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Like he literally hates anything that's not normal. Like you have to just be normal or he will try to herd you basically that's what he's doing he's straight up hurting but I'm hurting. hurting 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 yeah I had to show you guys in advanced Israel's St. Patrick's Day outfit so this sweet Etsy shop shop born apparel always sends us super cute outfits of Israel she made his Christmas PJs she sent us two other ones recently, and then these ones, I always gasp whenever she sends us a package. Uh, how flippin' adorable her stuff is. So I am going to make sure to link her website, her Etsy down below, so you guys can check her out. She seriously makes the cutest stuff. So this is a hoodie, and it has the matching rainbow print inside of it, and it's super stretchy too. So it's easy to get on Israel, and he's being very grumpy. You're okay. Yeah, you're okay. I guess I will update you guys on what's been going on with Israel's breastfeeding journey, Israel and my breastfeeding journey. Basically, I got my period back way earlier than expected for a exclusively breastfeeding mom. I got it back at four months postpartum, which I was honestly in denial about. Like I literally did not believe that I started my period. I was like, no, I'm just bleeding. This is not my period. Like I seriously, it did not register in my brain because I was not expecting to start it so early. And during that week that I was on my period, my supply drastically dipped. Israel was not eating. Like I had to give him bottles of frozen milk, which I never do. Like I never give him bottles unless we're out for a long period of time. So that was like huge for me. I gave him two bottles of express milk because he just would not eat from me. Like he would seriously latch for one second and get off. And it was just crazy and horrible. And I took him to the chiropractor literally three times in one week because I thought it was his neck. Like I had no idea what was happening. He just was not eating. And I would like try and pump and hand express and seriously like barely any milk would come out. So I was kind of freaking out. And then I was reading on Instagram, one of the breastfeeding 
Instagram pages that I follow talked about how your supply dips when you're on your period. And I was like, oh my gosh, that's what happened. So found out that you can take calcium magnesium supplements to help with your milk supply not dipping, if that makes sense. And so once my supply came back up to normal, I feel like right when Israel turned five months, he just started eating so much more. Like not necessarily more frequently, but a lot longer feedings. I'm not kidding you guys, he will have 40 minute feedings. And since I'm a stay at home mom, I'm like, okay, I'll let him have these 40 minute feedings. Like breastfeeding is my job. And I was talking to Aiden, I was like, I don't know what's going on, but I've been so starving lately. Like we will have a huge dinner. Like I will stuff myself full. By the time 10 o'clock comes around, I cannot not eat something. Like I have to go have cereal or a sandwich or something. Like I have been starving lately. So I think not only is he eating for longer periods of time, he's drinking more milk. I have never had that breastfeeding hunger. Like people always talk about breastfeeding hunger. I have never had it until now. And I'm not kidding you guys. I went from 115 to 100 pounds. Like I am dropping weight like crazy. And I'm eating a ton too. So I'm like, uh, I need to make like fat bombs and like just, I don't even know. I need to get my weight back up. I usually like to sit around 110-ish and I'm literally dwindling down. I'm gonna be in the 90s pretty soon and I'm not very happy about that. <laughs> so there's my update. This video is kind of gonna be full of updates. I already updated you guys on my breastfeeding journey a little bit. I also wanted to update you guys on Israel's eczema. Israel started getting eczema at around four months. Very mild, but still, I don't want my child to have eczema. I couldn't figure out what it was from, and then I realized it was probably from me eating eggs every morning for breakfast, and then that's when his eczema started showing up. So I haven't eaten eggs in like over two weeks, but he has a new spot that showed up probably a week ago. I honestly don't know if it's eggs anymore. I was reading online that babies start to get sensitive to foods around four to seven months. But I'm gonna show you guys one little spot that he has on his thigh right now and one little spot on his ankle. And then I'm gonna make him an oil blend to help with his eczema because I do use essential oils a lot. We have a lot of them and we love them. So he has a little spot right here that's really dry, needs some love. And then he has, this one you can't really see, but he has a dry spot right in his ankle crack. And then he has a tiny one up here and then another little one right here, if you can see it. Yeah, you got a little bit of eczema, huh, Mayna? I have been putting frankincense on it the last couple of weeks but I am gonna make him a different blend today um, and just add a couple of more oils in there. Oils that are like calming, oils that are really good for skin and things like that. So I'm gonna show you guys how I make it. I have a ton of like open 10 mil and five milliliter bottles. And these are the oils that I'm gonna be using. You guys know that I make a lot of stuff at home. Like I made my own stretch mark cream and my own facial serum. And these are the oils that I use. So I'm gonna put a drop of frankincense, a drop of copaiba, a drop of lavender, and a drop of yarrow palm. And with babies, you always have to make sure that it's extremely diluted. So that's why I'm only doing one drop of each. And all of these oils are extremely, extremely mild. So I don't have to worry about him having a reaction or anything like that. So I am going to put his blend, his eczema blend in this bottle that says happy.
All right, guys. So, attempt number two for Costco. Costco is <laughs> so busy. It took us like 20 minutes to find a parking spot. Well, that's why we shouldn't go on Sundays. But Bad idea. Israel is always so good, and I'm always so impressed by how good he is. And I swear, every single grandpa that passes us <laughs> stops us and talks to Israel, wants to know how old he is, and just says, when my kids were that age, and like they say the same thing. Ooh. And it's just so cute, and I Feel love that. it. It's always the grandpas. Oh my gosh. I don't know why. It's. I think grandpas are just... Nostalgic. Yeah, and they like are all emotional and it's just so cute. Good morning! Easy good morning! Alright, so I also wanted to show you guys this lotion that I've been using for Israel's eczema. So it's by Waleda, I believe. And it's just a comforting baby lotion and it makes him so extremely soft. Like, so soft. And again, I've been using his little roller today but we are gonna get him dressed and then hopefully get him down for a nap and then we're gonna go to target because we are almost out of size one diapers and almost out of wipes and israel is not moving up anytime soon in his diaper size like he has been in size one for months so size two like isn't even an option like his diaper this is size one um and these are seventh generation and these are kind of smaller too and these fit him like perfect and we like the pampers pure and the pampers pure is a little bit bigger um than the seventh generation in size one so we got to get some wipes we got to get some diapers and i'm so excited because it's sunny and beautiful out and i am just ready for spring so i totally forgot to film while we were in target yesterday I was just busy looking for all the stuff that we needed but tell me why i only bought the stuff we needed and the bill was 150 dollars almost like why is target so dang expensive everyone is like obsessed with target and i get it but target is so expensive just diapers and wipes one box of diapers and one box of wipes was 50 bucks and i know that we buy like the most expensive diapers and wipes ever but still, I'm like, holy crap. <laughs> He's real why? He's so happy. He's so cute. <laughs> so I'm sorry that this vlog was literally all over the place this weekend. Um, but that's what you get sometimes. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and give the shout out for this video. And that shout out is going to go to MRJ Selpour. So shout out to you. And if you would like a shout out, all you have to do is make sure to be subscribed and comment down below. Israel really has something to say. I have something to say, my love. All right, so this verse of the vlog is going to be Matthew 7, 12, and it says, So whatever you wish that others would do to you, do also to them, for this is the law and the prophet. If you guys have any prayer requests, make sure to leave those down below. They're too personal. You can always DM either me or Aiden on our Instagrams. You guys are loved, and we will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.